Hey guys, Putin here with a game in my tier 9 Russian gunboat, the Udaloy. Now I have recently moved out of this ship to the Grozovoy, uh, but uh, I still uh, enjoy coming back and playing this ship. As you can see, I'm divvied up with two of my clanmates, and... You know, the call is for B and C. The other thing is, I am the only destroyer in the game on our team, while the enemy has two. I normally run defensive fire on this, but when I am divvied up, I will throw on speed boost to get a bigger smoke cloud for my uh, allies. The other thing is, we're running into a lot of carriers. So I figured, might as well just put the speed boost on. But I do normally run uh, defensive fire because I do run the module uh, for a longer range on the ship over the gun accuracy. <clears throat> now my game plan is to go into C. You can see our carrier is spotting for us. So... Whatever destroyer is there, I feel I should easily be able to take on. Now, if we did have other destroyers, I would have let them go in first. I would have supported them. I wouldn't uh, have been as aggressive, but being the only DD, uh, unfortunately, I'm putting I'm put in the role of I, I have to contest these caps. Uh, it's a Bare minimum, I need to at least fight for them. But I know there's that island in C, so I'm just going to use that island to keep uh, him from torpedoing me. So I'm just going to stay behind this island. I know I can easily beat this guy in a gunfight. There's no way this guy should be able to beat me unless he detonates me. Now I do know one of my TV mates is in the Baltimore, so I'm not too concerned about the smoke. As soon as he gets close enough, he's going to radar for him. But as you can see, I'm cutting back in just to keep myself uh, protected from this guy's torpedoes. I'm going to close the gap uh, between me and this island, and I'm going to use it so really nobody can torpedo me. If the enemy carrier brings his tour planes in, he really has to fly over them, which is more time over uh, friendly AA that he probably doesn't want to spend. But I am spotted, so there's really no point not to shoot. I'm going to focus my fire back on the destroyer, because first and foremost, this ship is a destroyer killer and a harasser. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But, uh... Anytime uh, there is a DD spotted, I do like to shoot at them first. Now, I would have dropped smoke for this Pensacola, but he was going too fast. I wasn't able to communicate that. There's only one ship left over here. So, he really should be fine without uh, any cover whatsoever. Just going to finish camping this thing. And then I'm thinking, you know, I really want to try to get this Otago spotted for everybody to finish him off. So uh, pretty much everything that came to see just died. Now, in my Russian destroyers, I really, I very rarely turn off my AA because I'm not going to win the concealment battle. Uh, battle. And I really want to get rid of the planes for if I do some sort of ambushing that the planes aren't going to spot these torpedoes because these aren't very quick or long range torpedoes. But at this point, my division mate uh, asked me, hey man, let's go to sea. Can you give me a smoke cloud? I said, sure, I'll wait, f you know. I'm going to drive in a straight line. You tell me when you want me to drop it. I'll hit my speed, speed boost and smoke cloud for you. You know, so you can get the, the biggest and the longest lasting 
small cloud I could possibly give to him. Now we can see one destroyer is on the uh, gonna get on like to the a side of this island by b but the reason i'm not shooting here is one it's a bismarck i do not know if this gentleman is running a full secondary build i'm well within his secondaries number two our carrier is doing a pretty good job scouting out letting us know that there's really nothing on the camp i'm gonna drop these torpedoes more of a deterrent in case this guy was coming forward but at this point i'm gonna do what i can to get this thing capped but if i get spotted i'm just gonna let loose with the guns get off cap preserve as much health as possible but i will be trying to get this cap now you can see there's two baltimores on the other side if either one of them had used radar my life would be a lot more interesting than it is right now. But I can see this Baltimore is really not slowing down. I'm not going to get the cap. He's going to detect me any second. So there's no point in sitting here trying to cap it. I let my division mate know that the smoke is out. But, you know, I'm spotted. There's no chance for me to get unspotted anytime soon. So I might as well just shoot and kill this Baltimore as fast as possible. This gentleman is showing me enough of his side to where uh, the need to switch to AP was warranted. And I'm just going to sit here and try to AP this gentleman to death. He needs to die. He needs to die fast. We need to get rid of this radar so I can cap a lot easier. It's a game with nice lag. Trying to finish off this Baltimore. And finally, do it. See, the second Baltimore switch back to HE because, you know, there's plenty of battleships. Uh, there's the Tashkent I need to deal with. And like I said, I'm, you know, these ships are primarily excellent at destroying other destroyers. So, that's, you know, that that's the way I play this ship. I'm going to shoot at the Tashkent. I'm going to ignore whatever the heck is shooting me. I don't know because I need to get shots on the Tashkent, but, you know, I'm getting this island in the way. I need to find out what is actually hitting me. And it's actually the Bismarck's secondaries. I tell my division mate, I'm sorry, I need to pop smoke. I need to save myself. Because, uh, you know, the Bismarck secondaries can just eat me up. gotta shoot the Bismarck and want to get rid of him he's low health and get his guns out of play in case the Baltimore decides to radar for whatever point I'm not getting radared right now now I'm focusing my fire on the Baltimore because this guy needs to die because I don't know if he has radar if he's already used it but the last thing I want him to do is to actually use it get me spotted and potentially detonate me. I do not run those flags on these ships because someone is a joke as I say half the reason I play these is just to get detonation flags. As their division mate gets a close quarters. <coughs> now he is never going to cap this thing. I do believe I have all the cap points so I'm just going to sit in my smoke for as long as I possibly can to potentially get this cap while Everybody really just shoots at him because, well, you know, they can't see me and he has to close the ship. But I am going to do everything I can to finally finish off the Tashkent. As our division mate goes down to flooding from the carrier. Now, I stop shooting because my smoke cloud is running out. I don't want to get detected. I want to finish uh, camping this before I move on. Now, I am going to try to drop torps. I know these are only 8 kilometers, but he is moving towards us. Now, what I want to do is just shoot so this guy angles a little bit to potentially eat some more of my torpedoes. But, fortunate for, unfortunate for me, this guy is no fool. 
<clears throat> there was a gunboat shooting at him, which means, which really can only mean one thing, especially at this range. He's already dropped his torpedoes. The gunboat is shooting you, his torpedoes have already been dropped on you. So you need to do whatever you can to avoid the torpedoes. Now, I'm sticking with HE, uh, even though this gentleman's full broadside, I want to get two fires, want to burn him down, and honestly, I eh, kind of want to try to get a, a witherer, but if I would have set two fires, I would have switched to AP and started APing him. Now I have plenty of allies keeping these guys spotted. I have this nice big island to conceal my movement, I'm not worried about planes. I also noticed this Neptune behind me a little bit later, and which made me decide not to stop and smoke up and just start shooting at these guys. Because once these guys do around the island, I'm not sure who's spotting them, if it's me or for somebody to the south. So I just take this safe route, not smoke up and shoot. I will only smoke up if I absolutely need to. Now I know these torps are definitely within range. Not going to stick around for the 20 seconds uh, for the neutral torpedo to uh, tubes to reload. I'm just going to turn. I'm going to start putting distance. But I am. Uh, I did turn away, you know, just in case they both decided to turn in. But I'm sure as soon as they see the torpedoes, they're going to both turn out. Now, the second set I actually dropped on the Frederick, not on the Iowa. I'm just watching my torpedoes to see if they get me anything. And I get a flood, and I knock out this engine, and I notice, hey, this guy's just flooding to death. There's no point to shoot him. Just let him flood. Now, I'm hoping that this Frederick thinks that this set of torps uh, was dropped on the Iowa. It is not, and that's one uh, I always said I turned to see who was over here. And like I said, I didn't want to not be the eyes and ears. As I get another three torpits and a flood. This guy's flooding. This guy's burning. There's no point not to shoot. But I am within secondary range. They aren't shooting me, which means that this guy's not running a full secondary build. And unfortunately, the Mogami fire got that kill. And if you've been paying attention, I am working on a Kraken. There really is only one ship and one chance for me to get a Kraken, and that is to get rid of the North Carolina. So I may be doing a little bit of kill stealing or with the ear quotes there I'm kind of waiting for this guy to get low health potentially or see him use his damage control so my fires can do the damage instead of somebody else's but of course with a British cruiser uh, with their lovely AP this guy sent broadside Mogami I kind of need to shoot I need to get these fires going on as soon as possible but what I mean by this is the only chance I'm going to get is because there's no way I'm going to make the carrier in time for this. This game is quickly wrapping up. As I do believe I get a fire. And this is uh, what I like to do in the Russian destroyers. Is This is where you harass battleships. You get them to shoot you. You easily slow down, turn, all their shots miss. They are not shooting friendlies. Switched to AP because I thought he was going to show some, uh, stay showing side. Going to go back to HG and now this is a race to who can set the fires first. Myself or the Mogami. If I get the fire, I'm confident I can get the kill because there's nothing really within range that can get the nice big hit on this guy. This guy's just going to burn, we're just going to plink him down, down to... Uh, you know, just slowly bring his life down as I get it fluttered. He is burning. We are going to win. I get my Kraken. And now the post-battle results. 118,000 damage. Confederate. First blood. Kraken unleashed. And with the five ships I sent to the bottom of the sea. Number one on the team with the base experience of 2,300. 
And of course, doing that well, net me, net me some money. Don't play for money. Play because I enjoy it. 42,000 damage coming from main batteries. 49,000 coming from the glorious torpedo hits. And 25 from the fires and floods I did set. Please keep those replays coming in. We do enjoy them. Please remember to compliment good players, good teamwork. We're quick to report, slow to compliment. Please hit that like and subscribe button and have yourselves one heck of a great day.